Hello fellow Unreal Engine artists, designers and developers and welcome to another instalment of the Landscape Material series. In the last episode we implemented displacement using nanite tessellation and today we're going to extend that and implement displacement on our runtime virtual textures. In the last episode we added uh, displacement using nanite tessellation so you can see on the valley floor now we have these stones that pop out of the surface. But if you click on show RVT to show your runtime virtual texture in our material instance, you can see that it has gone flat again because the runtime virtual texture doesn't have any displacement information. But luckily we can add it into the RVT. So uh, let's do that today. Let's um, switch, actually let's leave the RVT on so we'll see it once the uh, process is complete. Uh, first thing we need to do is add a new runtime virtual texture asset to store the displacement information. So go into the content browser and find your RVT folder. And what we'll do is we'll take the RVT color and just duplicate it. So do control D and let's call it RVT displacement. And if you open it up, you can see that it has the usual settings for size uh, of the virtual texture and the virtual texture tiles. Uh, we'll leave it at this for now, 10 and 2. The size of the virtual texture will dictate how good the displacement looks. So if you put these values up, the displacement will look better, but you'll need more memory in your virtual texture pool. What we do need to change, however, is the virtual texture content. So in this drop down, you can see that we can store displacement in this virtual texture. So click on that, save it, and you can shut that down. And now we need to plug it into our master material so that it writes to it and then reads from it when we show the RVT. So go into your master material and find the section near the end on RVT. And here's where we write to the uh, runtime virtual texture. So all we need to do, you can see there is a displacement option here. So all we need to do is in our get material attributes, let's add a new one at the end and make sure that it is holding our displacement information. And then we can simply plug the displacement from the material attributes into the runtime virtual texture and that will write it out. So let's move these down a bit so that we can see where that's positioned. Okay, and then having written to it, we now need to read it out again when we show the RVT. So let's just move these three nodes up a little bit. And then we'll need another runtime virtual texture sample. This one is the color sample. So if you Duplicate that and put it below. Again, let's just create a little bit of space. And then for this new runtime virtual texture sample, we're going to use the RVT displacement. And then we can set our material attributes. So go to the set material attributes, add a new one, which is displacement. And then this will come from the displacement of our RVT that stores a displacement. Nice and simple. And everything else after this should work as normal. So we're going now through the virtual texture feature switch and the show RVT switch. And that will now have displacement from the RVT that we can show. So click on save and apply. And if you go back to the landscape, uh, we, we still can't see any displacement here. And that's because there's one final part of the puzzle, and that is we need to create a new RVT volume to write to from the landscape into that displacement texture. So we need to do two things. First of all, go to your landscape asset in the outliner and go down to the virtual texture section. And you see we have two virtual textures at the moment the color and the height. So let's add a third one. And this is going to be our RVT displacement. 
And so that tells the landscape to write to the RVT displacement uh, when it's using its master material. And all we need to do now is create a volume to dictate the breadth and width of where it's writing that information. So let's go to our RVT volume height in the outliner, duplicate that, call it RVT V displacement. And then go to the top of the details. It's um, aligned to the landscape, uh, which is good. And we want the virtual texture for this one to be the RVT displacement. And I don't know if you noticed, but almost instantaneously in my landscape, I've got displacement back with the RVT on. If you don't see it straight away, you may need to wait a second or even reload the level to get this to be written. But you can see that that is now displaced, but using the RVT. So I go into play mode. You can see that it is acting in a very similar way to the regular shader. Um, if you really look in detail, you'll notice that the resolution of the uh, displacement is not as good as the master shader. But that was similar to our color resolution as well. We're, we're trading uh, processing for memory here. And uh, we can up the memory requirements if you want. So let's have a go at doing that. So if I come out here and go to the RVT displacement, let's stick it up to 12 for the size of the virtual texture. And it makes the displacement slightly better there. But remember that we need to check our memory pools to see if we're reaching a ceiling there. If you remember, this was the if I go to the console command, this was the residency show command, r.vt.residency show. And you'll see there's a new uh, format here, BC4. So as we're moving around, these are going up and down. I'm running at a re relatively low resolution, so I'm well within the memory requirements here. So remember I put the memory pool up to 512 megabytes and you can see that we've got our color information, our grayscale information and this new BC4 has popped up so maybe that's displacement information. So anyway that's how you do the um, runtime virtual texture. I'm going to put the resolution back down to 10 over here so it didn't seem to make a lot of difference on this resolution and these texture pull requirements should come down over time. Okay, hope you found it useful today. This was a shorter follow-up to the uh, displacement episode I did uh, in the last tutorial. And stay tuned for more coming soon. See you then. Bye for now.